So far in this video tutorial series of WPF, we have covered the topics which were related to the UI designing part only. But now what we are going to do is we are going to discuss some more concepts which will help a developer to make a Windows application in a much efficient way. And out of there, the database connectivity means getting the data to your user interface and making changes to that particular data is one of the very important tasks that is assigned to any developer. And in this particular chapter, we are going to discuss that particular thing only, which is nothing but the data binding. So basically data binding is something when you get the data in a particular user control such as text box or maybe label from any particular data source. When you will do the binding, you will tell like in the data source which particular field I want in a particular text box or in some other controls. So let's see what is all here is a mechanism that provides you a simple and easy way to display and interact with data. When I say interact, that means you can also do the manipulation with the data. All right. It will not just be only displayed, but you can also make the changes from the user interface, which will be reflected in the particular data source. Allows you to flow the data between the UI elements and data object of the user interface. All right. So the flow of data will be there between the source and the controls. Now, when the binding, that's the important point. The third point is, Basically, whenever you will make a binding, binding means if you will make the changes in the data source that will be reflected automatically in the controls, right? Means in whichever control you have bound the data with the data source, if you will make any changes in the data source after that, once the binding is done, the changes will be reflected automatically here in the controls. Not only the data source, but if you will make any changes in the business model also, that is the middle layer, even then the changes will be reflected and it could be bi-directional if you will go through the two way binding. As in WPF, you have a two kind of bindings that is one way binding and two way data binding. So in this particular video, we are not going to discuss any practical implementation, but yes, in coming two videos, we are going to discuss separately the concept of one-way data binding and two-way data binding. That is all for this video.